We are here at Health Info Island looking at some displays having to do with recognition of particular health issues and professions for the month of April. The, this is an exhibit about Occupational Therapy Month. And this is a series of slides or posters. Talks about the 100-year-old profession. What is occupational therapy? Talks about how occupation is defined. A bit about the experience of occupation. All the things you do. Self-care, looking after others. Leisure, work, occupation, and health are linked. How do you become an OT? What makes a good OT? Good question. And OT's role in using evidence-based practice, the importance of that, the central nature of that, the ethics of OT, our holistic approach, the research climate surrounding OT, our practice framework, and WOFIT, the World Federation of Occupational Therapy, 92 national OT organizations. Another of the displays, National Donate Life Day, or organ donation, some facts and figures about that. Frequently asked questions and some of the tougher questions. What is brain death? The youngest lung donor, 41 days old, support health and resources for donor families. So there's a lot here. Each of the green buttons shows uh, at the uh, lower right shows a place where you can get more information. Click that and it displays information and resources about the topic. Show you around to some other things here that are noteworthy. One of my favorite locations here is the Path of Support. Let's see if I can locate that. This one. There are different information posters about so many chronic conditions and disabilities, and you can find out more about how you can get resources and support. Let's just choose one at random. Okay, let me see what this is. This is deaf, gay, and lesbian. So some special interests here. The series right here is all about the deaf community and the different subgroups who have special groups here, discussion groups, circle of support. Okay, here's some related to mental health. Let's see, MS, depression support, Special one for Asperger's, strokes, ADHD. Social media and social support are such a huge part of Second Life. It's it's not just the built environment. It's it's so much about people and finding resources and finding support. There's an entire section here on caregivers. So for example, SLS Cancer Caregivers. And you click on it, like with all of these, and it gives you a link to the actual group. And then you can join the group. If I join the group now, join. Then I can look and see if there are any recent notices. And it looks like there's several. Um, meeting tonight, meeting Monday. It's a perfect day. And so this is what you need to do if you want, are interested in any of these groups because oftentimes a group is started but then it's not able to be sustained. So you need to make sure that the group that you want is, is up and running. Uh, but you can also create your own group. So that's just a little overview of the path of support and some of the affordances of Second Life for participating in support groups.